Hey, this endless summer continues. Welcome again to Travel Malta. It's an endless summer. What can I tell you? It's going to be 28, 29 degrees. Feels like 30. It's hot. This morning I woke up. I went on the balcony. I was sweating. Uh, meant to be like 24, 25 at that time. Yeah, right. Um, it's autumn here, they reckon. Good luck with that. Now, if you're in central Malta, if you like food, if you like pastizzi, you would know about this place, the Crystal Palace Bar. Also known as uh, Iserkin. I was here a month ago, the sign wasn't up, they were painting, but it's up again now. This place is always flat out. And you know it's good when they've got cops, bus drivers coming in, out. It's actually not too bad today. You can actually get a table at this hour. Pretty busy inside. They've got an aircon on. The bar is fabulous. Always a line of people. They're always going hard. The yeah. ovens are always full of pastizzi. You see people coming in, coming out, getting deliveries. People, big groups getting group deliveries. They put them on racks and they take them and then they bring the racks back. You hear it all. You can also buy frozen stuff and take it home. And we are here with our Melbourne besties. We've got a day of uh, exploring as usual. I did a video here um, the other week, about a month ago actually, through all the streets and lanes and stuff. Um, and today we're going to explore some religious place. To be honest, I don't even know because my friend Tanya invited us, organised it. And a truck is pulling up right near us, very timely. However, we are here for the pastizzi. Let me tell you about them. Now, first of all, guys, if you're in Melbourne or Australia, you're going to cringe because this place is so cheap. Uh, my mate here bought seven pastizzi for three euros something. They're about 50 cents each. Um, we actually bought one, two, three, four, five pastizzi, two coffees in a cup, good coffee with the tinned carnation milk. Uh, it was like four yeah, euros, yeah, something it. incredible. Mm. Now, I did a video here last year, and I know that in Malta there is a lot of controversy around politics, national, labour, all that. I don't get into that. There's a lot of controversy when it comes to sport, and then there's a lot of controversy when it comes to pastizzi because we're either ricotta or pizzelli, they're the favourites over generations. But let me tell you now, just forget all that, just, just move on, it's 2023, because now we've got a wonderful creation called the Chicken Pastizzi. Always comes out a bit darker, because they cook it a bit more. I've already eaten one, and this is magnificent. See when I bit it, how it... They're laughing at me. The crumbs fly everywhere. Bit of parking controversy is happening here, but that's okay. Life goes on. Now, I'm not averse to the other pastizzi. I've also got a ricotta one here. I don't do pizzelli, but do yourself a favour. When you have pastizzi, have a chicken one. Uh, they've got them all around Malta. Not everywhere, but some places. When you're in central Malta, if you go to Emdina, Rabat, Nashar, Atat, whatever, pop over here like we did in the morning, it's only 10 o'clock. Do yourself a favour, get a traditional tea or coffee in the glass, one sugar, and a chicken pastizzi, you're not going to regret it. They are awesome. Everyone I know, I've told about it, and they're all addicted. Okay? Now, today we're going to go and see some holy uh, place that my friend Tanya has suggested she's filming. This is my mate Dean from Melbourne. He's getting stuck in all past hits. Is that a chicken or a ricotta? Pizzelli. Pizzelli, oh, there you go. And, um, and then we're gonna go uh, around the Shah again to see some more stuff. So, I'll be uploading more videos. Have a great place. Don't forget YouTube. All these videos eventually find their way to YouTube. We're building it slowly. Thank you for your support. Thanks for your comments. I'll be running into followers every day here. And we've still got a while to go. Have a good one.